Hey, welcome back. And today we got a new video for you. As I kind of have been going through emails and, you know, it's the end of the year, 2023 is coming to an end, you know, 2024 is coming around the bend. I got an email from Reverb, you know, kind of telling like, hey, this is the overall best selling electric guitars of 2023. And I found it very interesting. There's about 20 of them here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the top 10. So here's here's the top 10 of this list of 20 guitars. There's so many in here. But basically, the top 20 um, are very interesting. Um, even the top 10 are kind of interesting as well. Uh, in this top 20, I kind of give you a little bit of a, of a preview here. The Fender American Standard Stratocaster from 1986 to 2000 is at the bottom of this list. It's at it's number 20. And then you get into like number 15 is the PRS Hollow Body to Pizio. And then, you know, as you get closer to number 10, you've got things from Squire, Fender American Ultra Telecaster, the ESP LTD EC1000. Um, you got, you know, various guitars like that in there. Now, we're going to do from 10. Got the dock in here. Um, so, from 10, we start with the PRS SC Custom 24. Um, and then it goes the Gibson Les Paul Classic, uh, PRS Silver Sky, the John Mayer signature one. I don't know if I would go with that as being number eight. I think it's just no okay guitar. It's kind of, I think, a ripoff of the Stratocaster, but that's just me because I know John Mayer used to play Stratocasters. Now he's got this guitar. Uh, number seven would be the Fender American Professional 2 Telecaster. I love Telecasters. I got one on the wall next to me over here. And then, you know, you got number six. Actually, five and six are Gibson Les Paul standards, uh, 50s and 60s model. Um, yeah, I'd say those are pretty cool guitars. Um, I, I kind of find them interesting that it's the 50s and 60s. But anyways, um, and then number four goes into the Fender American Professional 2 Stratocaster. And then number three is the Fender Player Telecaster, which is exactly the guitar I have. I have a player Telecaster on the wall that I've modified. And then, so that's number three. Number three here is our Player Telecaster. And then number two kind of goes the Fender Player Stratocaster. And then number one, and I, I guess I could call it number one as well, but the PRS SC Silver Sky. I don't know. PRS is not a favorite of mine, as you can tell. I'm, I'm a little jaded towards them. They're not bad guitars. Use them if, if you like, but uh, I think the Telecaster or the Strat would be better than those. But they, you know, they've kind of come into a little more popularity in the last, you know, few years. So, but that's kind of the list that they've got here. Um, it says that the Silver Sky Rain Supreme for se for two years in a row, actually. So I'm not sure why. Um, I guess maybe it just they can sell them easier. Um, it kind of goes into this whole article, and I'll put a link to this article about the top 20 here, and kind of things that they say why these are the top 20s, and or the, why the top number one is in this list. Um, they even have the best-selling acoustic guitars, which I actually find it interesting that number two. Uh, best-selling guitar, which I have one. Best-selling number two acoustic is the Gretsch G9500 Jim Dandy flat top, which I have on the wall back over here. You can't really see it, but it's on the wall over here. I've got one. It's a great guitar. It's kind of fun to play with. Um, it's small, so you can kind of take it camping. You put it in area. It's like it takes not a lot of space to carry it with you, so um, it's a cool guitar. Then it goes into Ibanez's number one for acoustics, but um, this is a very interesting article. I would say if you got a chance, go and read this article. Um, I don't really have much else to say when it comes to it gets into used acoustics. Number two used acoustic would be the Martin 000 15M. I'm not 100% sure what that guitar is, but the number one is the Acoustasonic Telecaster from Fender, which I don't actually like them quite so much as an acoustic guitar. Uh, I think they sound a little better as an electric, but that's just my opinion. You can take it or leave it. 
Um, and that's kind of all I got for today's video. Kind of thought I'd throw this out here as kind of a fun little short video for the end of the year here. Um, it's not a short, not a YouTube short, just a shorter video. It's still part of our long form content. But uh, basically, you know, we just thought we'd throw it out there. Um, and also, we'd like to say thank you and much appreciation to everyone who has liked and subscribed to our channel. We're up to like 350, I think now, subscribers. And our videos this past few days have just shot through the roof. So thank you everyone who has watched them and hit like and all that garbage that goes with it. Um, hit the subscribe, hit the, it's not garbage, but hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the, this, you know, the bell notification to get our notifications when we post stuff. Um, but yeah, check out this article and go make some music. We'll see you next time.